I'm gonna tell y'all about um about our short film we filming. I feel like it's like a I don't know how many of y'all like Harry Potter, but I would call it like a like kind of like reminiscent of a don't don't just look at this like it's a parody or something. It's like a black Harry Potter. Not because of what's happening in the story or anything, but it's cause it's like very fantasy. So like it's very fantasy. Um so I would say, like, I'm just comparing, like, I watched Harry Potter, and I was like, ooh, I want to make something that made, like, like, that gave me the same feeling as Harry Potter. Just with, like, uh, black people. And not just with black people, but, like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, okay, like, if I had to, like, sum it up quickly, I'd be, I would probably tell somebody, like, yeah, man, like, this is our black Harry Potter series, in my opinion. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So yeah, it's it's very it's very black. fantasy. What do you say, Dylan? Yeah, I feel like, I feel like that that is the the quick very quick way to uh, explain it. Oh yeah, it's it's the it's definitely it's a very quick way to explain. It. That was not giving too much detail. You said is that why I asked if anybody watched Harry Potter films uh recently in a few streams ago? Yes, uh, cause I was I was watching them again and I I I hadn't watched the fifth, sixth, and seventh one, but like when I was watching them, I really liked them a lot. But um, I wa I started watching them again because I had this idea to make something. And I was like, what's what's a series that I feel like everybody loves and it's not really like a lot of like criticism around it at the same time? You know, I really feel like it don't have that much criticism because it came out before a time where everybody was critics. But um, yeah, I, I wanted to like recreate something like that, especially in, in fantasy. Obviously, I feel like there's not too many fantasy series with black people as the main character. We always doing some shit. It's always something realistic, but this ain't really realistic. It, it's not realistic, but it's a good, I feel like it's a good story. And it's something that I would watch if I was like chilling and was, you know what I'm saying? Wanted to watch something new and, and good. So yeah, that's the series we're making. I'm not going to tell y'all the name of it yet, but that's what we try to make. And it's, it should be movie quality. It's another short film, but y'all shouldn't think of it as a short film because trying to make like four movies off this i'm trying to make like four three four like a series off of this so i hope everybody likes it and stuff so we can continue it you know what i'm saying it's not animated it's real life we filming it right now that's what we filming you seen on our story that's what it is um no that shit was clean as fuck when i seen that on the story boy no, that shit was love i'm giving y'all some updates because like i feel like we're so we're horrible at updates and i'm trying to be better at updates i'm trying to be better at showing y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. what we're doing because a lot of people don't know, like, I see shit all the time, like, oh, what happened to the Jordan Peele shit? Like, I'm still writing the Jordan Peele movie right now. Like, I'm on, like, page 50. I'm going to just tell y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm on page 50 right now. I'm taking my time. I don't really, like, it's it's patience, and it's a lot of, you got to do, like, you know, rewrite shit like that. W. Lee. So, um, yeah, like, that's what I'm writing. It's, like, a lot of, it's a lot of shit that be going on. I don't really like to tell what we got going on, but I do feel like I owe y'all uh, something. All the people who really truly do care and like, like, is like, damn, like, is everything still going good? Like, it's it's going good. Like, I have no complaints. Uh, I was talking about Hollywood on that Cam Newton interview because yes, Hollywood has told me a few times. I I don't I don't really I'm not worried about Hollywood. I'm trying to connect with the right people, regardless if it's in Hollywood or not in Hollywood, to make what we need to make and where I can. Uh, continue to have creative control. I don't want nothing where they got more creative control than me because them niggas, they don't, they, they, I don't know what they're trying to make. Like, I know what I'm trying to make though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Hollywood is quick to take all your creative control, but I ain't letting it happen. I'm working with the right people. I got to. Um, and you know what I'm saying? Dark Light's going good too. Dark Light's is tougher. It's an animation. A lot of, a lot of companies don't be wanting anime like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just a, that's just the truth. Y'all probably see a lot of anime coming out, but there's a lot of things y'all don't see behind the scenes, obviously. But, uh, Dark Light's going good too. I can't be mad at anything that's happening, you know? Um, everything is just slow. You know, all this, when you're dealing with a big show or a big movie, everything moves slow. So I just wanted to give y'all that explanation on everything that's going on because people just be making shit up. Oh, everything fell through the road. No, like, that's, that's not what happened, buddy. I mean, could it happen? I mean, not, I'm going to say no because God on our side. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say no. Um, but I guess it's a possibility, I guess. Hello. But, um, yeah. But for us on our channel, 
the we are making that you know black harry potter series not a parody just what i'm summing it up as um life is strange we filmed the second one already it's being edited right now should be out within the next two days um we really getting consistent on everything i I couldn't lie to y'all. Real dreams, you know what I'm saying, are consistent. Shit, that's us right now. <laughs> um, it's a lot of hours. We put in a lot of hours, a lot of work, a lot of things happening right now. And I know y'all be wanting to see more of us. So obviously we try to stay streaming, stay doing the shit that we doing. But uh, we got a lot of shit going, man. We got a lot of shit going. And I want y'all to be excited about all of it. I, I feel like the RDC community... Like that whole like the reason why I left is because it's like it's pretty negative to me. I know what y'all think it. Oh, Bart, but you be negative. I be playing with my friends. Y'all niggas in there fighting for real. <laughs> like stop it. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna cut that out. But I do want that community to grow and let people talk about what they really want to talk about, which is anime and and RDC. But like y'all gotta go in there and pick teams like this fucking some Twilight shit or something, nigga. Like support RDC world, <laughs> support RDC world and everybody. Like that's just what you should be doing. We still trying to do the shit we need, got to do, and we still need y'all support. I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas be on. I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I ain't read no comments, ain't nothing in my head. I'm just keeping it a buck. That's all I can do. That's all I always do. Um, We working hard. You know what I'm saying? We not perfect, but we working hard. That's for sure. Um, So, yeah. like, And y'all niggas, remember, y'all don't, don't know us like personally. You know what I'm saying? So stop making shit up. That's stressful for no reason. That make niggas not want to be connecting with the fans and, and audience. We obviously love connecting with y'all. We try to do everything for y'all. DreamCon is low-key for y'all. You know what I'm saying? DreamCon has the has the um, the um, the mission to make more people's dreams come true in general. We putting a lot of like-minded people together. Do you know what that creates? That type of energy that it creates? It makes people inspired when they go home. I be inspired from DreamCon. Like, damn, I want to work. I want to go harder. Hopefully that makes a lot of people there that want to go harder and, and want to work and, and see stuff that they like, damn, you can make a career out of this or you can do this. Like, I know this is inspirational time part of the stream. I had to just go ahead and say that shit because that shit is important and I want y'all to know some shit that we got coming up and coming out. Shit. And the game of channel finna get turned back and forth coming back out with guests and non-guests in general, like just RDC and guests in general. Uh, we got a lot of things coming out, man. We really want y'all to to really start like looking into and paying attention to. We got a new purpose, new missions, nigga. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. Hey, uh, I know, I was just yapping, y'all. I was yapping, but. Oh, that was yapping. That was me, nigga, man. It's the between that yapping and talking. You was fact. talking. Appreciate you, my brother Dylan. Appreciate my brother Dylan. Sorry, um. Up yeah. So we'll be. We'll be all right. We'll, I mean, y'all be all right. Everything coming. Y'all see it. Yes, sir.